Welcome back to the channel, guys. Art the Hero from Draft Media. Here to talk about the point guard from Arkansas, Anthony Black. With the emergence of positionless basketball, it seems each year we are treated to new point guard prospects who possess the size of an NBA wing. This year is no different with Anthony Black. The 6'7 point guard is averaging 13 points, 4 assists, and 5 rebounds per game. Anthony Black has used his defensive playmaking to create transition opportunities where he's able to showcase his athleticism and composure when driving to the basket. Despite his efficient game, one of the biggest red flags I've noticed in Anthony's game is his lack of a quick first step. Defenders are able to stay in front of him with relative ease, forcing Black into wild shot attempts. On the contrary, one of Anthony's greatest strengths is his overall basketball IQ. He has a variety of ways to continue to be an effective finisher despite his lack of explosiveness. He is usually attacking on the catch straight into pick and roll actions and also has a second burst that he uses to disrupt the timing of opposing defenders. He has also shown a real ability to finish through contact on a consistent basis. Shooting 53% from the field and 59% from inside the arc are no coincidence for Anthony Black. While the first step is still a significant concern, I believe Black's IQ and talent will propel him into a successful NBA career. As we know, Anthony Black is a fearless driver who won't shy away from any contact. This translates to 3.6 free throw attempts per game while shooting 75% from the line. watching Anthony Black play, you likely won't be ultra impressed with his ability to shoot from behind the arc. However, as of December 14th, he is shooting a surprisingly efficient 40% from three-point territory. Anthony does have a slower set shot which will be harder to get off at the next level, but as the primary ball handler, as long as he's able to knock them down at a decent clip when he's open, he should be more than fine. I wouldn't be surprised to see the number regress as the season continues, but his free throw percentage being 75% is another positive sign that his shooting ability may be viable. shooting off the dribble, we can see the shot form being more of an issue. It takes him much longer to get into a shooting position which causes him to rush into the shot before the defender is able to close the distance. Luckily, Anthony plays to his strengths and doesn't force any bad shots from outside. 33% of all shots attempted from Anthony are from behind the arc which I believe is a good ratio for him to hang around. Anthony Black is a true point guard who possesses a diverse playmaking arsenal. Averaging 3.7 assists per game, Black is the type of player who can run your offense but also create open looks for his teammates. He shows off his great vision and passes up a good shot for a great shot. We can see his impressive vision on display as he penetrates the defense, forcing a collapse and manufacturing an easy assist for himself. Black seems to be in a ball screen situation just about every play on offense. Whether he takes it in for himself or feeds the roll man with slick passes, we can expect a lot more of these actions at the next level. We can see his composure and second burst again on these plays, continuing to penetrate alongside his roll man and putting pressure on the defense rather than killing his dribble at the top of the key.
Unfortunately, Anthony does lead the SEC in turnovers with 30 total. It's not surprising to see this with somebody having as high of a usage rate as he does, but nevertheless, he will need to work to cut this number down significantly. Anthony Black is averaging right over 5 rebounds per game which is another benefit of having a tall point guard. He goes out of his way to make sure his team closes out defensive possessions rather than running out in transition to look for easy points. Black shows his passion for winning in a countless number of ways. He will certainly be on triple double watch night in and night out once he becomes acclimated to the NBA. Anthony may have one of the highest motors of any other guard prospect in the draft. His ability to play hard on both ends cannot be understated. He moves well laterally and contests shots well, and because of his height he will likely be able to guard 1-3 through three in the NBA. He fights hard through screens and is able to recover with blocks even if he falls behind the play. Surprisingly, Anthony Black has been a very effective help defender, an uncommon trait to see from a point guard. He's had a few plays as the second line of defense in which he does a great job of protecting the rim. However, he's not only a rim protector, he's been elite at blindsiding opposing teams, coming away with steals as the weak side defender. He's averaging nearly two steals per game in the most impressive fashion. Anthony Black is shown to be effective from everywhere on the court while still possessing elite abilities in certain facets of the game. My NBA comparison form is Josh Giddy. Like Giddy, Anthony is not the most athletic or explosive athlete, but he is a big guard who does a lot of everything well. He will likely be a better shooter and defender than Giddy, which in my opinion gives him a higher ceiling. My draft projection for Anthony Black is a top 10 pick with a real chance to rise into the top 5. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to join the draft media family.